What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Back with another race shop restoration episode. This is going to be episode three. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you guys haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh, drop a like on this video if you like this type of content. All right, today I'm going to walk you guys through the shop. A bunch of stuff cleared to the middle that we're taking to the landfill today. So I'm going to take you guys with us there. But today we're also going to get into the attic. So before we patch up all the roof, where the insulation has fallen down, I decided I wanted to go ahead and go up in the attic because dad told me that there are old 80s and 90s race car body parts up there from when he was racing back then. So I'm super pumped for it. He has no idea what's up there. So we're gonna get up in there. I'm gonna take you guys with me to do that. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the progress and we're gonna clean out all this shit that's just laying in the middle, take it to the landfill. I'm take you guys with me, let's get it. All right, as you can see, we are preparing to take a bunch of stuff to the landfill, but we're getting there, making progress. All this right side starting to get thinned out. We're actually taking some pictures of some of this stuff and posting it on Facebook Marketplace, just because some of these cabinets, somebody's gotta want them, I don't know. Uh, taking these two motors down to my dad's today. And then right there, is the attic, so we get to get up in there today and check it out. This is obviously one of the problem spots with the roof, at least one of the main areas, so I think we're just gonna fill this in with plywood instead of obviously replacing it with uh, with insulation. But we wanna get up in the attic and see what all's up there before we start patching all this, because we're gonna have to be up there anyways. All right, attempt number two. We didn't know how it opened up, but it's probably, I can't tell you the last time this thing's been open. 20 years, maybe. So now we're gonna try to do this, keep it from falling down and not kill one of us. <laughs> oh my God. I guess I'm going up. I'll take them with me. Where at? I want to see it, yeah. All right, if I fall down, y'all are going to get to see it firsthand. Oh, shit. Oh! And we've got body parts. Oh, buddy. All right, hold on. Let me get up here. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so sure how, how sturdy any of this is, but we do. He was right. All right, let's dig through it. A dash hood of dad's at some point in time. So we're going to set that over here. No, well, that one might have been the Charlotte hood. No, that's when I remember this race. I'm pretty sure maybe Lakeland or something. Somebody uh, landed on top of it, and that's why there's a huge tire mark there. Here's an Oldsmobile uh, rear bumper cover, probably, I don't know what that would have come off of, white model of some sort. This, I'm going to say was late model, or well, it could have been a bush car, I don't know. I'm going to say late model, number 96. That one doesn't ring a bell either. Maybe, dad, maybe I can ask dad about it. I'm sure it would have to be a local person to know what that is, but all right, we continue. This is a early 90s bush nose. Oh, Buicks, I think, yep. Yeah, no, it's brand new. Looks like it just got taken off the race car or was never put on the race car. I'm assuming that was probably a, a spare nose he had. Okay, this was the rear deck lid off of his 1990 Goodies Dash Championship car. Custom material handling. So if you guys know me and you know my racing, I did a throwback this year to 
1990 Goodies Dash Series Championship car. Uh, Dylan Wilson would appreciate this. Come here, watch. Got the old WRC Wilson Racing Corp Sidewinder Crawler uh, logo on there. They made Creepers. That's cool as shit. I bet you all this is off of that car. Assuming this is the hood. Hell yeah. So Pro Cal. This is, can you see it on there? Yeah. Try to get it. This is exactly what my uh, late model looked like in the car store. Pretty sure this is a whole side as well. Let me stand this up over here. Yeah, there's a quarter panel. So, there we go, there we go. Entire side off of his 90 championship car. How badass is that? Oh man. We gotta get all this stuff down at some point. I'm surprised that, well, I mean, I guess nothing can get to it up here. Yep. There is a couple more things over here. Let me clear out some space. I wanna get in there with those pit signs. Old 37 pit sign. That had to have been a dash car. It's hot as shit up here, as <laughs> you guys haven't realized. I'm sweating like hell. Um, it also has Molly Black Gold on it, which was his bush She's car. Clear. Huh? It's kind of hard to there it is. Yeah. yeah, it was his bush car. He actually only ran a Molly Black Gold car one time and he wrecked at Daytona and got burned really bad. This might be an old Richard Petty pit sign here. Or it could just be SCP, I don't know. It's got 75 on it. SCP on one side. We can get all this shit hung up at some point. I don't really know where you put it all. But this just looks like front glass and shit off a pontoon boat or something. All right, eventually, I definitely want to get this stuff out of here. I mean, how cool is that? The dash hood. Um, the, uh, goodies dash rookie of the year championship side hood deck lid. And then there's stuff off of that might be off a street car. I'm just oblivious to the fact it, it the red nose, but the Buick, the Buick nose is definitely a Bush series nose from the early nineties. And we also have airplane seats for whatever reason. You know, maybe they're. Off of one of the Concords or something. Yeah. <laughs> Christian is flotation device. Yeah, how about that? Probably not worth anything. Sure. All right, time to go down. Oh my god! I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting there to be more junk up there, but there's really not that much junk. So a lot of you know some hoods, side panels, quarter panels. Some cool racing shit that I expected to be up there after what dad told me, but I figured it would be just an absolute mess and we'd have to clean it up. But to be honest, it didn't even really need to be cleaned. So we're not even gonna touch that until all this other mess is ready. And then we could get some of that stuff down and hang it up or do whatever we're gonna do with it. But absolutely no point in us messing with that now that we see what's up there before we get all this cleaned up. All right, now we gotta get all this loaded up so we can go to the landfill and then hopefully have more cleaned out. This is one of the other motors it was what came out of that Dodge truck that we're gonna try to sell or why it's listening for sale. That's the transmission out of it as well. There's a bunch of stuff like that around here that somebody will probably pay something for, but all this other junk is going to the landfill. floor is so nasty <laughs> okay we're gonna take this pile of junk to the landfill and see how much they charge because <laughs> our dumpster is getting picked up tomorrow we might just put shit in the dumpster what we have left but we're gonna see how much they charge for this if it's way too much we're gonna turn around and come back <laughs> We dumped off what we brought to the uh, landfill, but we couldn't dump off any electronics, so I guess we'll just put them in our dumpster. Same place. It's all going to the same place. For whatever reason, they can't take it here. 
All right, we're headed back to the shop. Closing up shop. That's going to do it for this episode. We uh, we actually moved a good bit of stuff out of the middle. So it's getting, I guess, a little bit better to move around in there. There's still so much junk, but we're getting there. We're going to have to make a bunch of trips to the landfill and figure out what all we can actually put in our dumpster. But slowly making progress. Glad I got to get up in the attic and look at some of that stuff. There's a bunch of cool pieces up there and I'm glad it's not a mess and it's actually somewhat organized so whenever the shop gets decent I'll be able to get some of that stuff down and actually hang it on the wall and take care of it but until then thank you guys for watching I'll have at least one of these episodes every week potentially more though make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next one I'm out peace